हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन क्लिक एग्री यूट्यूब चैनल रीड द डिस्क्लेमर ऑफ वन क्लिक एग्री यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ अगेन शॉर्ट ब्रीफिंग ऑफ आवर वन क्लिक एग्री यूट्यूब चैनल वी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियोज विथ नोट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल फॉर ऑल एग्रीकल्चरल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स सो द आउटलाइन ऑफ आवर लेक्चर सीरीज विल बी बाय फर्गेटेड इन टू टू ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज दैट इज वन लैक एग्रीकल्चर ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड थियोरी ऑफ ऑल एग्रीकल्चरल सब्जेक्ट so here you will get subject wise objective along with notes and we have selected subject agronomy and we will be continue it from question number 31 to 45 let's see the question number 31 the dwarf wheat that is mexican wheat is introduced in india by the right answer for this question dr n e borlock and he is the father of green revolution in the world and he got nobel peace prize in 1970 for green revolution dwarf wheat that is mexican wheat the scientific name triticum astivum and we have three options over here take a look the little bit information about the rest options in that b option dr b p pal he is the father of indian plant breeding and he contributes in wheat breeding and he is a first director general of icr and he also work in rose breeding and one variety of rose that is dr b p pal c option dr m s somnathan he is the father of economic ecology founder of ms somnathan foundation which is located at phulabad jaipur district korapat odisha and he gives the concept like evergreen revolution in india and he is the father of green revolution in india and dr ms somnathan he is the first person to first laureates of world food prize please be remember this the d option dr subramanian in 1963 larma rojo sonara 63 sonaro 64 and mayo 64 is imported to india and he was a minister of agriculture and he released above varieties for commercial cultivation in india in 1965 and these varieties were responsible for green revolution in india next question the first wheat variety having short plant height lodging resistant and higher grain yield was the right answer for this question norin 10 and take a little bit more information about the options norin 10 it is a japanese variety and this variety is isolated by dr n e borlog in 1960 at mexico and this norintin is a gene which is responsible for dwarfness in wheat and it is due to particularly two recessive genes and which marked with the symbol of sd1 and sd2 please be remember these two things and one note is here norin 8 and norin 18 these two varieties are belongs to the rice please be remember this crop and these two varieties were released by iari new delhi rest of the three options over here in that first dgu gene this gene is responsible for dwarfness in rice please be remember this and literally meaning of the dgu gene is brown tipped short legged and dgu gene into peta the developed variety is ir8 and this is the first high yielding dwarf variety of rice please be remember this already we have discussed in the previous lectures so that please watch our previous lectures and do subscribe to written with our channel and uh, hit the bell icon to get latest video notification the b option larma rojo 64a 
this is a single gene dwarf variety of wheat and from larma rojo 64a the one variety that is pusa larma this is a mutant variety developed and d option sonara 64 this is a double gene dwarf variety of wheat and from sonara 64 sharbati sonara this is a mutant variety developed the next question the normal seed rate of wheat is the right answer for this question 100 kg and if you you will find the question in that the range is given then definitely you go for the 100 to 125 kg per hectare the rest of the options over here the 50 kg per hectare this is the transplanting rice seed rate that is the range between 50 to 60 kg per hectare and the d option 125 kg per hectare this is the for late and broadcasting kg per hectare of a wheat and another one seed rate is here 25 to 30 kg per hectare for dibbling this is the seed rate for the wheat the next question wheat crop yielding 50 quintals of grain per hectare removes npk kg per hectare respectively the right answer for this question nitrogen 100 to 150 kg then phosphorus 70 to 80 kg per hectare and potassium 125 to 150 kg per hectare the next question the recommended dose of npk kg per hectare for wheat the right answer for this question 120 60 and 40 npk kg per hectare and the c option over here 100 60 60 npk kg per hectare recommended dose of rice please be remember this next question npk content in dap dap it means diammonium phosphate the right answer for this question 18 46 0 this is the npk content in dap please be remember this value the next question nitrogen fertilizer use efficiency in rice can be increased by using the right answer for this question both a and c that means sulfur coated urea and urea super granules let's see the little bit more information regarding sulfur coated urea then urea super granules and blue green algae the sulfur coated urea this developed for slow release of nitrogenous fertilizer or nitrogen fertilizer and this is the elemental sulfur and is binding agents and nitrogen content in sulfur coated urea it ranges between 10 to 37 percent depends on the thickness of sulfur coating let's see the b option blue green algae it is a bacteria and it is also known as the cyanobacteria and sometimes some scientists also known as the pond scum and it is used as a biofertilizer and it fix the atmospheric nitrogen the c option urea super granules this is the deep placement of the urea granules into the fertile soil and it enhance the soil nitrogen absorption capacity and here is the new neem set neem coated urea and this was initiated in january 2015 by government of india and that allows up to 100 percent neem coated urea to the manufacturer and now it's 100 percent urea is a neem coated and urea coated with the neem oil is known as a neem coated urea this is the definition for the neem coated urea and it contains only 30 to 40 percent nitrogen and in urea utilization by the plants and due to neem coating it gradually release nitro 
nitrates in soil and avoid losses primary motive of the indian government is to stop the illegal diverting of highly subsidized urea for the industrial purpose and neem coated urea is unfit for the industrial purpose this is the primary motive of to develop neem coated urea next question triticale is a cross between the right answer for this question wheat into rye take little bit more information about the triticale how the triticale name is developed it developed between the wheat that is a triticum and rye that is a sickle from triticum they took triti and rye they took scale that is the triticale name developed a little bit more information about the triticale cross it is a most successful synthetic allopolyploid cross at the present triticales are being commercially grown in canada please be remember this country the desirable features of triticale are that they combines the yielding ability and grain quality of wheat with the hardiness of rye and the extensive breeding work going on the triticale at simmit mexico please be remember this next question phalaris minor belongs to the family the right answer for this question gramini family and it is also known as the poaceae family another weeds belongs to the gramini family that is the echinocola crusgeli this weed is dominant in the rice field then echinocola colonum and cynodon dactylon this is a perennial weed in all crops then saccharum spontanum this is a perennial in sugarcane cotton and millets then sorghum helepens this is a perennial in sugarcane maize and cotton then avena fatua that is annual in the wheat pea potato gram and linseed and the phalaris minor this is the annual occur in the rabi crops the rest of the three options over here in that the first is the cypress family is there in that the cypress rotundus is there this is the perennial weed in a cropped as well as non cropped area and then solanis family there is a solanum janthocarpum this is the perennial herb in the crop lands and then solanum elangnifolium this is a perennial widely prevalent in the southern india please be remember this the next question the nitrogen losses in rice can be reduced by placing nh4 fertilizer in the right answer for this question reduced zone let's have a look at the definition of what is mean by the reduced zone and what is mean by the oxidized zone oxidized zone it means the upper 1 to 10 mm thickness and this receives periodically oxygen and this is called as oxidized zone and below that the lower portion of the fertile soil without oxygen is known as a reduced zone next question green revolution has been most successful in the right answer for this question wheat and rice please be remember this the next question acoichi disease in rice is due to the toxicity caused by the right answer for this question hydrogen sulfide that is h2s and the rest of the three options over here zinc phosphorus iron already we have discussed in the previous lectures of the horticulture series so that go back and watch the whole 20 videos on the horticulture it's a very very important the next question at ph 4 the pre predominant ionic form of phosphorus present is the right answer for this question h2po4 minus rest of the two options over here in that hpo4 minus 2 this is available in the less alkali or neutral soil and po4 minus 3 this is available when alkalinity is more 
that means high pH and here the figure in that the pH range given 1 to 14 and here is two segments only acidic and alkali in that 1 to 7 that is acidic in that H2PO4 minus is available then neutral or less alkali soil in that HPO4 minus 2 is available and alkali or alkalinity is more or high pH the PO4 minus 3 is available please be remember this the next question first irrigation to the wheat crop should be given at the right answer for this question CRI stage it means crown root initiation stage and this stage occurs on 20 to 25 days it means sometimes you will find the 21 days appropriate answer the let's have a look of this chart in that the critical growth stage is given and the six irrigation required for the wheat crop in that here is the number of irrigation available and uh, first we can see the critical growth stages that is first stage is a crown root initiation stage this stage occurs on 20 to 25 days after sowing then second is the tillering stage this occurs on 40 to 45 days after sowing then third late joining stage occurs on 60 to 65 days after sowing then fourth flowering stage occurs on 80 to 95 days after sowing then fifth milking stage occurs on 110 to 115 days after sowing and sixth grain filling or dove stage occurs on 120 to 125 days after sowing and with respect of this we have a number of irrigations available with us or with the farmer if the number of irrigation available one then it is give to the crown root initiation stage if two numbers of irrigation are available then first irrigation give at a crown root initiation stage and second to the flowering stage if third then first give to the crown root initiation then second to the late joining stage and third irrigation to the milking stage if four irrigation then first to the crown root initiation second to the tillering stage third to the flowering stage and fourth to the milking stage if five irrigation are available then don't give to the grain filling and dove stage irrigation and rest of the five critical growth stages you can give the irrigation and if you have available six irrigation then give to the all critical growth stages irrigation of wheat please be remember this chart it is very very important the next question Phalaris minor in wheat can be controlled by using the right answer for this question isoproturon the rest of the three options over here first is the 24d if 24d concentration is greater than 20 ppm the 24d is treated as a herbicide and if less than 20 ppm the 24d treated as a growth hormone in atrogen this is used in the mage and jaw to control the weeds and gramic zone it's also known as a paracot this is non-selective type of weedicide or herbicide and this is mostly used for the control of parthenium weed please watch lecture number four and now it's time to subscribe like and share our youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get latest video notification thank you for being with us see you soon in next lecture bye bye